going to finish this in Susano. This will finish everything! No, you won't! Kurama and I are gonna stop you! So this is officially part two, where we're going to complete the repairs as well as finish the assembly of this iconic statue of Sasuke from Cartoon World Studios. And uh, I didn't get to do this last time, so I wanted to include it. I wanted to share the specs with you guys as well. You should see it floating around behind me somewhere, but just to give you more perspective of just how big of a statue this is. So I came up with some other solutions about how I want to display it. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. All right, everyone. So these are the dummy batteries from Linux. Next up, we got our crazy glue. And finally, you're going to see the new stand I got. I actually got this at Ross. It's a marble and quartz, which will be able to support the weight of the statue. It can actually hold up to 150 pounds, too, which is great. We're going to go ahead and assemble everything here. I'm going to speed through this real quick. And we're going to go ahead and start working on Cho Mei. With this piece here, you see I went with the brush in most cases because for doing finer details within the resin statue, it, it made it a lot easier to have everything come out nicely without leaving too much residue anywhere. Um, we had multiple wings we had to fix. And of course, as you saw in the last video, I had to go to Home Depot to try to take out that magnet that you see stuck in there. Uh, we had to get a couple of tools to figure that one out because the two magnets are super, super strong. But that's important though to help it uh, stay on the statue and stay on there securely. And though I had to scrape the sides a bit, that Phillips screwdriver and that metal filer from the nail clipper really did the trick to pry it out of there. All right guys, this project is nearly complete. And this time I got some of the clear epoxy welder's glue to try to finish this up. I learned pretty quickly that the magnets on this thing is very, very strong. It's definitely applying at least more than 10 pounds of force, you know? Because we tried at Home Depot with a magnet that had three pounds and it couldn't pull those other ones apart. So we're gonna try this now. Maybe do a mixture of both crazy glue for the smaller parts and then use this for the bigger part to reattach the magnet because the magnet more than anything else is what's keeping these tail beasts attached. So let's get to it. I'm gonna open this up, go through the instructions one more time. Definitely wanna use gloves for something like this too. You know, this is more of a professional grade style of welding. Blue, this is JB Weld. It was actually the same brand I saw Band Collectibles use. And this is the mixer. With epoxy style glues, you typically have two different substances here to create that very strong bond. One is resin, one is the hardening liquid. That's what they call it put everything together. Looks like you're gonna have to break this tip off here. Sorry guys if you know I look like a rookie. This is definitely my first time doing this. I'm gonna grab some eyewear too. Just recommended that. Bam! <laughs> and now we're going to finish this up. Yeah it says snap off the cap and press easy mixer down and turn clockwise. So let's get that done. That just heard it break. Yeah, bam wasn't kidding. This does have a strong smell to it. Oops. Here, here, here. I told you I won't quit! Next up, press down the plunger, apply the easy mixer directly onto the surface in an even coat. Alright, let's try to get it done, guys. I'm gonna show you the piece a little bit closer as well. So as you can see, that's the part we need to attach it to. I put the paper towel over the side can. And I need to get that magnet attached to it. So let's step back again, get back into place. Let's see if we can't knock this out. Uh, this is the magnet that came detached. So this is supposedly as good as it gets. See it coming down the mixer. Trying to do this very carefully. Now I'm just gonna hold that for a little bit. 
It's just like a small piece, so I'm trying to do it as subtly as possible. I'm not using more than I need, but at the same time, it needs to be strong because, like I mentioned, this is a very powerful magnet. Just about got it, guys. Check the other side just a little bit. And just like that, we have got this to set in, guys. And I had a little bit of a drip. I had to kind of clean the sides a little bit as you're trying to get in there. Make sure it goes on there and attaches cleanly. Uh, we're gonna let this sit 24 hours, and then it should be super strong to get the last tail beast reattached. It's coming together quite nicely, guys. We're almost there. All right, guys, we back, man. Uh, we're bringing this to a close. Last little piece I got here, pick this up on Amazon. I'll be sure to put a link within the description so you can see where I get all my equipment from. But we should be able to use this. I was able to get those dummy batteries, so we can use those. I'm gonna use actual batteries we have to replace. Something like this allows you to plug it right into a wall, be able to control it with an outlet, which is much easier, and it looks cleaner too, so. Let's go ahead and get into it. Went with the white color as well. This will better blend in with the wall. I'm going to adhere it to our stand as well to kind of make things look a little bit cleaner. Let's get this done. Now these cables do come in different sizes. This is a one that supports the five volt, I think a 5.5 millimeter, which is the standard for things like LED lights. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't have a way to actually measure that. So we'll give it a try, if not, it's not. It's not terribly inconvenient to try to return these things. For those who don't know, you can actually make Amazon returns it. Holds food now, so that's pretty cool. This is one of the flat cables as well. So that better allows you to put it against the wall or in this case, against the stand. I'm hoping it looks really clean. I got some masking tape too. So we'll try to make everything look perfect. I've already got the cable connected in the back. Plug this in like so. Yes. Okay, thank goodness that fits in, so we're okay with the size. It's gonna hide things beautifully. I'll be able to wrap this around. Because the cable that it, I, the one I chose at least, that came with a black cable. You do have the option to choose between black or white, so that's my fault. <laughs> but regardless, the cable wouldn't have been long enough anyway, so I wanted to do a better job of hiding that so you don't really see it. So here, this is the power adapter and the black cable. Get those connected again. We'll do a little bit of the management off camera too. This is just to get us started, but yeah, look at that. Yes, this worked out perfectly. This is exactly what I wanted. And now we're gonna get the tape. All right, guys, we got our masking tape. We are almost there. Let's finish this up and make it look real clean. We used to be all alone, starving for love. Children who were festering with hatred. We went our separate ways and fought. But not at all. You never cut me off. You just kept moving closer to my heart. Even though it would have made sense for you to attack me with hatred. You told me I was your friend. Hey. All right, guys, it's your boy, Magnifico CA. Call me CA for short. Signing off. Another great statue. Stay tuned, because I got some other killers coming through as well. We're going to do Itachi. With another piece with Sasuke. We're going to do Minato. We're going to do my favorite character, Madara. Stay tuned, guys. Find purpose through your passions. We out. That emotion felt like a prayer. I'll just have to bear this until I can really do it. And the ones who have been tasked with that are us. Naruto. Ninja.